Hi guys. So this is a Whole Foods haul. Um, I haven't been there in a, quite a while, but that was the nearest store near the doctor's office that I had to go to today. Had to get my eyes checked. And so me and my boys ran into Whole Foods to just do a little quickie. Um, I still do have to go to Costco and I do want to go to Trader Joe's, but we needed some food for this weekend. So I got some ricotta cheese because today I have to go to the CSA and I'm really hoping that they have the squash blossoms because that was really, really good. The boys loved it. So stuffing the squash blossoms with the ricotta cheese and then breading them and frying them, they really, really liked it. So I got some more. Plus my husband likes putting these on sandwiches. So we needed that. I got some heavy whipping cream because I used up all the cream and I always like to have it in the house in case you want to make an Alfredo, in case you need some butter, which we do. Oh man, I didn't get butter. Crap. Damn, I didn't get butter. Now that pisses me off. Um, or whipping cream. And I also got um, jovial einkorn flour. So I'm doing a lot of watching documentaries and einkorn flour is the wheat of our ancestors that has less um, chromosomes than the wheat that's been hybridized uh, that is all over the U.S. that we use all the time, which has also caused the rise in celiac disease and everyone having gluten sensitivities because the einkorn flour of the the wheat of our our past what we used to use to make bread uh, produces way less gluten and actually has more protein than the wheat that we grow in the u.s today and other countries that do not use our wheat tend to have minimal to zero people affected with gluten, even though they eat bread on a regular basis. So not only did we hybridize our wheat to a, a point where it's like loaded with gluten, but we also spray the crap out of it with toxic pesticides and herbicides. So we're dealing with our body reacting to that as well, the toxins and the chemicals that have been put on the wheat. And then you go to another country, and I hear particularly Germany, where they eat bread all the time, and I apologize for the rant that I'm on. No one has these problems, and you know, no autoimmune disorders, no celiac disease, no issues with health as far as their bread goes. And then they come to America, and they get back to this um, not feeling well because of our wheat. So this is the only einkorn wheat I could find jovial. These were $6.99 a bag. You don't get a big bag, which I got to do some research on how to find einkorn, um, uh, you know, bigger bags and stuff like that. So I do have a bread machine and I have made pizza dough for the boys as well as um, some bread. So I want to start making, oh, and waffles. And I, I want to start making their bread and their waffles because I try to do things from scratch as much as possible with the einkorn. And then I also bought organic bread flour from King Arthur. And one of the things that I like about King Arthur, let me turn around over here, is that King Arthur lists the type of wheat that they use. And I believe the wheat that has been hybridized and is used all in the United States is a, a dwarf, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna have to look that up again. But some kind of dwarf plant, high yield dwarf, something, something, something. So they tell you the type of wheat that they use. Um, and because it's organic, it's not sprayed with pesticides, which is toxic to our body. So I bought the bread flour because like I said, I like to make bread for them in the bread machine. And um, so I'm like, you know what, from now on, don't go the cheap route. Yeah, it gets a little costly when you wanna be healthy, but I'd rather spend more money on healthy food than to save money and get a fancy coffin. Um, so from now on, organic bread flour from King Arthur and jovial einkorn flour, which I want to start eventually. I don't see, I don't know if this makes good bread, but I'm going to play with it when I can. 
And then I hear that these blueberry Vans gluten-free muffins, sorry, gluten-free waffles are really good. And I've been wanting to try them. So I finally picked those up. And then I bought my gluten-free bread. I really like the Mountain White. I'm trying the seven grain for the first time. Um, I do like a, a whole wheat bread, just toasted with butter um, for breakfast sometimes. And I haven't had that in ages. So I want to see how this one tastes, if it tastes like that whole grain bread. But this one, a whole wheat uh, bread. But this one um, I I use for, I like chicken salad and egg salad sandwiches on it. Um, I like it just toasted with butter and then I put the everything seasoning, everything but the bagel seasoning on it to have it with eggs for breakfast, my egg and kale scramble, or I use them as hamburger buns for me. I actually like them because I don't like, I like more burger than bun. You know what I'm saying? I don't like big, thick bread on where you're eating a burger of bread. And then I got organic peas. We're running low on vegetables and organic mixed veggies. So I got two bags of each of those. And then Trader Joe's, last time I went, didn't have this juice. And and last time I went to Sprouts, they didn't have it either. Disappointed. But they had it at Whole Foods. So I got two of those for the house. And then I got their bags of chicken thighs. I wanted to get chicken breast and they did not have any. So $6.99, two bags of frozen chicken thighs, which I think I might leave out. At least one of them. I'm going to leave it out because um, we're going to probably have one for dinner tonight and then freeze the other one. And then I went on a fruit kick. It's good to eat in season. What's in season? Cherries are in season. Berries are still in season. Um, these obviously, uh, I don't know what season they are, but I have two avocados. So I wanted the lime juice for guacamole. Me and Sean really like guacamole and I got lemons again. These are not organic. I don't know what's going on with the organic. Um, I was at another store and they did not have organic. I was very upset with that and Whole Foods didn't have the organic lemons, but I did take two of those. I'm going to wash them really well. And but I only use the juice, so I'm not using the zest as far as I know yet. I like lemon water in the morning, kind of like a lemonade. I had ginger and turmeric this morning. I just had it with turmeric. I didn't want it heated up. I usually sometimes make it as a tea, but I didn't feel like it because it's just so hot and humid outside. So I really had a glass of refreshing lemonade this morning with stevia to get the liver going. And then cherries are in season. I love cherries. So these are organic sweet red cherries. I tend to like the Rainier ones the best, but they're so freaking expensive. This was $6.99. This was $3.99. So I was like, you know what? I'm not paying freaking $14 for two bags of um, the Rainier cherries. So this one, I think they give you more. Yeah, this one's bigger. So I'll mix them up make them last longer and then I bought organic blueberries anything extra I could freeze I do want to learn how to make some blueberry um, gluten-free muffins I did buy a mix one time and they didn't come out that good and the only way they tasted good is when you slathered it with butter and honey which you know kind of defeats the purpose so um, I do want to try to make some blueberry muffins that I can freeze so I can have them occasionally toasted up with butter for breakfast I said that really fast I apologize anything extra I'm gonna freeze because they're great in smoothies and then I love blackberries and I love blackberries with yogurt especially vanilla yogurt, and some granola on it for breakfast. So organic blackberries. I think these were $3.99 and these were $4.49. And then I got some rusted potatoes. It's been a while since we had some potatoes. Um, I do plan on going to Costco in the next couple days. Um, husband's been asking for steak on the grill. They always go great with potatoes and creamed kale instead because I have a lot of kale so I still didn't make my kale with the borsine cheese yet so I got to do that that'd be great with potatoes and steaks so maybe this weekend we'll do that and that is it for my whole foods haul that plus magazine was 145 yeah can you believe it um but yes I hope I inspired you I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video ciao
Sorry, I skipped right over that big ass bag of apples. Um, so I got a bag of organic gala apples. Um, in the summer, it's always good to eat more hydrating fruit, although apples are not in season here at this time. It's more of a September thing. Um, but that's the only fruit most of my boys will eat, that and strawberries. So apples last a little longer in the house. I keep them in the refrigerator and then um, take them out if you don't want to eat them cold and I want to eat them room temperature so that they last longer. And I really, really try to push the boys to eat more fruits and vegetables. And if it's an apple, it's an apple. And I try to keep telling them an apple a day keeps the doctor away, full of fiber, full of vitamin C, um, and very hydrating. And it's good for your teeth, too, when you bite into it. So sometimes I encourage them, hey, you know, put a little peanut butter on it. We also have almond butter. That's also a good snack. Also eating it with a little slice of cheddar cheese, because um, I do have a kid that does not like peanut butter or almond butter. So I try to give them some options so that they don't think the apple is just so boring. But it's been a while since I had gotten apples and so needed them stocked in the house to try to push them on the kids. You know, gotta force these kids to eat healthy. But they'll thank me in the long run. That's the plan anyway. So again, I hope you have a great, a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.